Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna be making a chickadee birdhouse. Uh, we finished this one. This is the one that we're gonna be giving away. We did varnish stain with high gloss on it. Thirty urethane, so you guys don't have to worry about it uh, rotting or any of that. It's also made out of cedar, so nothing's gonna eat it. You won't have ants in it and all that. We sanded it. It's really soft. All you have to do is just hang it. Really. Today we're gonna be making the chickadee house. We have one hanging up in a tree, but I'm gonna go and get the uh, plans and show you how it's done. Hey guys, so for this project, we're gonna be using cedar boards. These are made out of like fence wood. So they're all weathered and all that. They just got a bunch of dirt on them. You just sand it with like 80 grit and it comes down and it makes it look like this. Almost. So it looks really nice and nothing's gonna eat it. So first we are going to need, I believe, a piece that is eight and one quarter. So put that on our compound minor lights on. Where's your pencil at, Um, where could it be? five and a half so if you don't have like a table saw you're gonna have to cut it like this which is not that smart because this thing could kick up and your hand is super close to the blade that's why I like using a table saw because performing rip cuts you always want to use the table saw a lot safer okay let's check the plans again uh we need an eight eight inch board Far we need one eight and a quarter, which is this one. So eight and a quarter by five and a half. They're all going to be five and a half wide. And this one has to be an eight inch board. So we need one eight. in the tatas. Okay. Okay, for this one we need a 11 inch board for the back. Run around the house. She's out there. 
Okay, for the last board, we need, oh, we need a four inch board. This one on the table saw because this one's a little scary to do right now. So flip the camera around. Let's let's do this. Why don't you plug in the light for me, Ted? another 8-inch board. inch board one I believe is 11 or 12 yeah 11 inch board and then an eight and a quarter board and an eight inch board three eight inch board one eight and a quarter one 11 inch board and one four inch board and they all have to be by five and a half inch wide so we'll go down to the table saw really quick. let's get this up here So we're going to take all the edges off, so we're going to start at like, we're going to start an eighth over a half inch, so we can take off one edge and then take the other edge off.
have all the edges took off. So we have a flat side and make sure it's all straight. Okay guys, so we're back. Just a recap. We have uh, a 11 inch piece. Uh, one eight inch piece. Actually, two eight inch pieces. No, it was three eight inch pieces. Three eight inch pieces. So 11 inch piece, an eight, three eight inch pieces, one eight and a quarter inch piece, and then a four inch piece. So we're gonna want to take our four inch piece. And put this on like that. You want to make it level in the back, make sure it's on right, and then nail it. I know what it's doing. It always acts up. Makes the nail stick out like that.
buy one. They're like $15, $10 the edge off with the table saw. I had to take these down. Okay, then for the front. Yep, I'm gonna have to cut these ones down. He's on room. Sorry guys, I put these on room. Aim it down a little tighter so you can see. Down. this video extra long. One good thing about bread meals. Just snap them. I'll go on like this, actually.
three inches from the top, two and three quarter for the center, and then drill a one inch hole, because that's how chickadees can get through. Drill a one inch hole. I mean, if you want to make it bigger, a house sparrow could get in there, but normally they'll dominate it, and then it'll be that house forever, so you won't see many different birds. Get that started, and I'm going to clamp it down and drill it. through this little hole and then you just take like a like 150 grit sandpaper to roll it up go like this and you want to get bigger and just go like this too Obviously the back side's not gonna be as nice, so pick whatever side looks better and put that on the front. Normally Fortuner bits are better for this. I gotta buy a set of those. So one thing I haven't gotten around and same with a drill press. I gotta buy a drill press and a portion bit. So you wanna make sure there's no sharp holes so the birds can get in and out of the And don't get the bird stabbed or injured. Many of you just clean through. You got any 220? Well, I don't know. I made a sandpaper box over here. Yeah. You guys haven't seen it in the last um, video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we smoked it in the last video. You can barely see in the corner. You see that one right above that. Right here. Right here. This is our Sam. But, uh, that's a sandpaper box. We have all we oh, throw away all of our sandpaper yeah, see, that's ripped and all that. That's from like a belt standard. We have all different kinds. We have any um grids you can think of. We got a hard grid, we got really high grid. Yeah. Um, we got any kind of sandpaper, kind of. We have like thirty grit in there. Yeah. A really good sandpaper. After you take 222, that's really all you need. All I eat high, the highest I use is 220 for this stuff. Aim it up at this. Too high. Right there. I don't know why my light isn't working. It's up. Yeah, it would be up in the top corner. Top corner. See, there you go. Now you got your inch little hole. Chickadees don't actually need a Big hole. piece of dowel that comes out because they can actually grab onto the hole and fit through it. They're just really smart. Yeah, they are. They're smarter than most birds. Then probably in them. They are pretty good at birds. They're nice birds. We're going to have to cut this down again. Yeah, a little bit, but not much. I mean, actually, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, just scoot it over one side. But, like, try and make it even. Let me make the sides. Yeah. Most chickadee houses are actually made to do this. Where they stick out a little bit on the sides. So they can grab off the sides if they wanted to.
nails don't want to go in right yeah. at all. Sometimes it wants to work, sometimes it doesn't. Right, Kyle? Yeah. Okay, then add the back on. It's looking good so far. Sorry if you don't get to see it like when he was doing it because he was in the way to put the nails in. So, sorry about that um, thing to not see. Sorry about it. picture on there where it has this little lip on the sides and then on the top. I don't know why it's made like that but it's kind of weird. So we're going to stain it with red oak. Go in there and grab the stain tile. some cloth and then I got more steam.
Start getting it off the ground with that towel. Yeah. Where's the things that come out? Bit of steam is going to go a long way. We got most of it off the sun. We can get it all off with the power of it. It stains the cement. Go make sure it's pointing at the birdhouse, Tyler. Camera is. Looks like I murdered someone. So I'm going to hang this one up in the tree. I'll show you guys in a minute. That's how it's supposed to go. Not with the <laughs> at school a lot, it's like my 8th grade year. Throw that one away. Okay. Mm -hmm. garbage. What's the garbage you throw? Did you take it out? Yeah, just go put it in the garbage can. Throw this one in there too. You don't want it? Okay. You don't need one? There we go guys. Oh wait, no, 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 let me see that one. I've got to do that. the plans in the description if you guys want to see them. 
Yeah, if you want to make it. Thanks for watching, guys. And that's how you make a chickadee birdhouse. Oh, here, pull it off. Pull it off the tripod, and we'll go show you guys the thing. Sorry, it's gonna be a little dizzy, but I have to undo it. See, that's the one that we've made. Yeah, I'll zoom in see, on it. Yeah, I'll zoom in it. You see that white one right up there? I mean, so yeah, it's the silver chickadee house. It's basically the one that we based this off. I hung that up there. He We're probably climbed gonna the hang tree. this one up there too. Yeah. We'll probably hang it a little bit higher though. Yeah. Probably on this side facing our house. That's it, guys. This is the end of the wilderness factory. Go.